I want to congratulate the President of the Republic of Kenya, former Deputy President, now President of Kenya, um, Honorable Dr. William Samoy Ruto, on his election. Uh, and also uh, say that I was particularly impressed on his comments about uh, the release of funds to counties as we speak. Uh, counties like Magwene have not received their release of funds since June of this year. And therefore, I welcome his comment on first the release of funds. Two, I welcome the comments of the president on uh, the transfer functions. That is a function that has given us tremendous headaches when I was sitting at the Senate because a lot of the devolved functions are still housed in terms of resources and the functions themselves in departments, in the ministries in Nairobi, yet those functions have already been devolved. On the subsidies, I welcome his, uh, his remarks about the subsidies, but also uh, want to say that the subsidies on uh, fertilizer should include subsidies on seed because while uh, whilst, uh, he has recognized, and which is true, that Makweni alongside other counties are suffering from drought and we expect short rains. In those short rains, the government of Kenya should release subsidized seeds so that we can grow the first growing crops that we can do in about a month or so in the month of October. So that whilst the big farmers who need the subsidized fertilizer in uh, the breadbasket of the country, which is the North Rift, uh, then the people of this southeastern region and Asal regions particularly can get the benefit of subsidized seed, subsidized fertilizer, and uh, alongside that, I welcome the idea that we must sit down with the national government to ensure that we mitigate the drought that is already hurting a lot of people uh, in Makweni and other regions. Uh, and I welcome the government in terms of uh, assisting this mitigation because uh, we do not expect from the recent meteorological department um, indicators that we will have shortage of rain and therefore a lot of Kenyans uh, in this region are going to starve. So we have no resources and the government is holding all the resources. Thank you. Baada ya kukutana na wahudumu wa hafia na directorate ambayo inafanya kazi hapa wote nimeamurisha kwamba kuanzia wiki hii tutaanza kitu kinaitwa public health week. Yaani madaktari ambao wanafanya kazi katika maofisi hapa wote nimekuta ni karibu takriban 58 ambao wako hapa ofisini pamoja na wale wakubwa wao wanaitwa medical superintendents wale wako ma hospitali eh, katika uchunguzi wangu nimepata kwamba wao madaktari hawahudumiwa na nchi kwa hivyo nimeuliza wahudumu wao wote kuanzia wiki hii watakuwa wakichagua hospitali katika sub counties zetu ambazo watakuwa wakienda wote kuhudumia wananchi kama ni siku ambayo kuna soko na kuna mali kuna, kuna kuwezekano ya kuhudumia wananchi kama matiliku wanaenda hapo wanahudumia wananchi kwa sababu nimepata kwamba eh, talanta ambazo tuko nazo hapa makueni na madaktari ambao tumewaajiri katika maofisi zetu makueni hawatumiki na wananchi wetu wamekuwa kiumia na kwa njia hiyo pia madaktari ambao wanahudumu kama madirector hapa makueni wote headquarters watakuwa pia katika eh, harakati ya kuangalia kwamba wanahudumia wananchi kama madaktari watakuwa pia wanachunguza ni nini kinaendelea katika uh, hospitali hizo kwa sababu mambo ya madawa watu wanahudumiwa kivipi wards zinaendelea kivipi wale ambao ni wasimamizi wanafanya kazi kivipi kama ni wale uh, uh, wasimamizi ama wasaidizi kwa, uh, kwa kimombo nurses wanafanya kazi kazi kivipi watakuwa wanaweza uh, kujua ni nini kinaendelea wakati tulifanya kampeni nilipata kwamba kuna hospitali nyingi ambazo inasemekana kwamba uh, wakati mtu ame, amechukua either likizo ama live ama amekuwa mgonjwa hospitali zinafungwa takriban mwezi mmoja kwa hivyo jambo hili ni ya kuhakikisha kwamba hospitali zetu kila mahali makueni azitafungwa mkikumbuka Muki, kwamba wiki iliyopita tulienda tukafanya mkataba na wa, wasimamizi wa kemsa kuhakikisha kwamba madawa yetu yanapelekwa katika uh, zahanati zetu directly kutoka Nairobi hiyo ni kuhakikisha kwamba madawa ambayo anasemekana kuwa amekuwa akipotea katika hospitali zetu kuu jambo hili limekomeshwa na watu wamepata huduma hawa watu wana wa, wa, tumewapatia vifaa tumewapatia magari magari ya kifahari na tunataka kwamba wakuwe wanaonekana katika zahanati zetu 
ndio uh, zile pesa ambazo zitu, zisi kama makwendo na walipa madaktari kuwa maofisini pia wananchi wajue kwamba tuna madaktari ambao wana uwezo wana talanta na vitu kama dentistry na zingine ambazo zinapungua katika hospitali zetu sasa watakuwa wana nafasi kila wiki kuanzia wiki hii ama daktari watatoka maofisini wavae kabuti nimewaambia pia mimi wanitafutie yangu kwa sababu tutakuwa tukizunguka katika mawodi pamoja nao kwa hospitali wa makuwene kikima na naona na tedhewe na saa na tu ina daktari si umete wote si ukito ku kikima ende ni si atutedhe si ana sana uno si atukula nyama kulio na itwa itwa na sengwa na twende nesa Nino wana ba upandele gunundu ine dia gwenda kitale inge yetiwe sio ka udukuma sie ka maundu maingi okela mundu inge ndeno wagula wake akaandikia wakuana na na wa uwa wake eze wa ukoma akakoma ugeza ile wa ino ka iwe kata ni wenuka hivi wakati nilipofika huko hakika mimi nimeona kila mambo yamebadilika nimepata wa madaktari ambapo ni wapia kila jambo limebadilika kwa kwa hivyo niko na jambo la kushukuru Mungu ni kwa maana hakika kila jambo la kwa mambo ya hospitali kila mambo sasa yamekuwa mapya chi asanda mboya de mono opiko na mwenye ka kyanga idunge ya mwe ndo neno ka uko manana moiti andi dana na mokaje ya amwe anenga kindu kembi ya mukinali ka mukwa ndia watoto wata hai kondo na ke alioko No na wadio. Monene mona. Mm. Oteo kumukamboje angai ugo ugo tuka umamwe. 